The best semi-auto shotguns fire rounds reliably and cycle quickly. Even when built upon a relatively light platform, they soak up recoil and swing the birds and clays naturally. It's no wonder that so many waterfowlers, upland bird hunters, and clay shooters opt for the modern semi-auto shotgun. But you can't talk about the best semi-auto shotguns without first starting with John Moses Browning. When Browning debuted his long recoil Automatic 5 in September 1903, it quickly became the world's first successful production autoloader. His design was nearly flawless, and as such, the Auto 5 enjoyed an almost century-long run until it was discontinued in 1999. A new, redesigned version debuted in 2014. The semi-auto survived two world wars and was manufactured on three different continents, Europe, Asia, and the US, as the Remington Model 11. The popularity that the semi-auto platform enjoys today is largely thanks to Browning. Now manufacturers come out with a new auto loader almost every year. With such an expansive selection, buying a new semi-auto shotgun can get confusing. So, to help you with your decision, we have listed the top eight semi-auto shotguns and their key features, plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. You can also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, allaboutsurvival.com. Number eight, Rock Island VR60 Tactical 12-Gauge Shotgun. The Rock Island VR60 Tactical 12-Gauge Shotgun is a budget-friendly AR-16-style semi-automatic shotgun with excellent features. It has an aluminum alloy upper receiver and a high-quality polymer stock with a rubber butt pad for added comfort and control. The VR60 is an excellent hunting, sport, or home defense shotgun with its easy-to-use design. The upper receiver has a full-length Picatinny rail and comes with an M16-style carrying handle and front sight post. It includes a mobile, full, modified, and improved cylinder chokes for a wide variety of spreads. It includes a 20-inch barrel with an overall length of 39 inches at 7.4 pounds. The package also includes a five-round magazine for a total capacity of five plus one. If you want an affordable AR-16-style semi-automatic shotgun, the Rock Island VR60 Tactical 12-Gauge Shotgun is an excellent choice. Number seven, Weatherby SA Odd 8 Deluxe. The SA Odd 8 Deluxe is originally manufactured by a Turkish company and is a gas-operated model. Available gauge sizes are 12, 20, and 28. This is a great weapon to shoot and provides some great power for bird hunting or pig hunting. I would say it's a good combination of value and price. It's a little bit pricier than some of the super discount options. The SA Odd 8 is super lightweight and looks great. The base model weighs 5.5 to 6.25 pounds. Also a great choice for clay shooting or any kind of waterfowl. If you have a gun lover in your family, this is a really good choice and probably the best price you'll get at the mid-range level. Walnut stock, engraved logo, and polished steel. It looks and feels great. Number six, CZ-1012. I'm a huge fan of CZ products, and while their pistols are very well known to people, I feel like their shotguns kind of go under the radar for most. The truth is, CZ shotguns are pretty great especially for their price. If you want an inertia shotgun but don't want to spend your money on it, the CZ-1012 is perfect for you. Starting around $680, the 1012 line comes in either 26-inch or 28-inch barrel flavors, comes with five chokes, F, I, M, M, I, C, and C, is adorned in Turkish walnut furniture, and makes for some outstanding hunting or sporting shotguns. While you have a lot fewer options when it comes to the 1012 versus the Super Black Eagle 3, the CZ is less than half the cost. If you're looking for a great shotgun to get started with, or you're just not fully sold on the inertia system, this is a perfect starting point. It's a good shotgun that works, and that's what counts the most. Number five, Browning A5 Sweet 16 Upland. Browning's new version of the A5 Sweet 16 sports the same humpback profile as the original, but it's only for aesthetics. The old 16-gauge needed the hump because it was a long recoil shotgun and the barrel moved rearward into the receiver. Now, the Sweet 16 uses a kinematic, different word for inertia, system to operate the autoloader. But just like John Browning's model, this gun has a speed load function that allows the shooter to slide the first round into the magazine where it is caught by the carrier and lifted into the chamber. 
Since 1929, most all American 16 gauge shotguns, regardless of manufacturer, have been limited to a 2 and 3 quarter inch chamber, which isn't a big deal. Realistically, you don't need a 3 or 3 and a half inch shot shell to kill a pheasant or any other upland bird. There is an inflex recoil pad on the buttstock to dampen recoil, which I have found manageable on every Sweet 16, new and old, that I have shot. Felt recoil is also dampened due to the fact that most 16 gauge ammunition doesn't have a charge weight over 1 and an eighth ounce, though ammo can be hard to come by. There were only a few lead, steel, and bismuth options. Barrels are available in 26 or 28 inches and outfitted with Invector DS chokes, IC, M, and F. The fore end cap is simple to remove when the gun needs a thorough cleaning. Just stick your car key into the insert, twist, and the cap comes out. The Sweet 16 also has a 100,000 round or 5 year warranty, whichever comes first. Number 4. Benelli M4 The Benelli M4 is the modern combat shotgun. If you want a gun for home defense or three gun, or both, and demand no less than the best, here it is. The M4 is the scattergun of choice for John Wick, the United States Marine Corps, and many other noteworthy combat operators. The M4 uses a dual piston gas operated system rather than the SBE's inertial system, which makes it a little softer shooting when you up the load to buckshot or slug. Available in 12 gauge with a 3 inch chamber, the standard barrel length is 18 inches with a 5 plus 1 capacity. Like the Benelli M2 and M3 before it, the receiver's top offers up a Picatinny rail if you want to attach an optic or red dot. Irons are ghost ring sights at the rear and black front blade. Sling mounting rings are located on the stock and attached to the magazine tube. The M4 is a pistol grip shotgun that has proven its capabilities in combat time and time again. And while they come dearly, better doesn't exist off the shelf when it comes to the semi-auto tactical shotgun segment. Number 3. Stoger M3000 Stoger, part of the Benelli Beretta family of brands, quietly turns out some magnificent guns from its Turkish factories for a working man's price point. The M3000 and M3500 are 3 inch and 3.5 and inch guns that use a simplified version of the Benelli Inertia Action System. If you want to go down in bore size, the M320 is a 20 gauge version. Both are offered in several configurations hunting models and tactical models with and without pistol grips, extended magazine tubes, and shorter stocks and barrels. So there's something for almost anyone here. Black synthetic or walnut stocks, even carbon steel, whatever your preference is. These guns are quietly regarded as some of the best workhorse shotguns you can get for the price point. Number 2. Remington 870 The Remington 870 is another widely popular pump-action shotgun series, including many tactical models that are great for home defense. 870s are usually priced around Mossberg 500 models, or sometimes in between a 500 and a Maverick 88. This has led to a long time comparison of the Mossberg 500 versus the Remington 870. As you probably guessed by us covering the Mossberg shotguns first, that's where our allegiances lie. The most obvious difference between these shotgun titans is their safety locations. While my somewhat unique preference would be a safety in front of the trigger, most people love Mossberg's top mounted tank safety. Remington's crossbolt safety is located behind the trigger, which is arguably the worst possible location of the three. I'd argue a crossbolt safety behind the trigger is not ideal for shotguns with only a stock or shotguns with a stock and pistol grip. It is, however, an okay compromise for both options. This would be my guess as to why you even see Benelli use this location on their semi-auto shotguns. The Remington 870 does not arguably gain durability points for its steel receiver, compared to Mossberg's alloy receiver. Keep in mind, Mossberg pump action shotguns are used by the US military, so there shouldn't be any concern over the 500 or 590's reliability. The steel receiver of the 870 also means that it's a bit heavier than the Mossberg 500, which is both a downside and an upside. The 870 is worse for carrying around, but the extra weight eats up more of the felt recoil. For a home defense shotgun, I'd say the steel receiver is a slight net positive. Though 870's have a durability advantage in receivers, Remington doesn't, to my knowledge, offer thicker barrels like Mossberg does with the 590A1 Advantage Mossberg. Tactical models of the Remington 870 with the 18.5 inch barrels usually hold 6 plus 1 shells. This is one more shell than the standard capacity of 18.5 inch barreled Mossberg 500s, but the same as 590 models. Having said all of this, 
Mossberg 500, 590, and Remington 870 shotguns are both great options. I'd ultimately make my decision based on whether you plan to use a stock and pistol grip or a stock without one. If you don't plan to use a pistol grip, go with a Mossberg 500 or 590. If you are considering a pistol grip, then take a look at the 870 or even the Mossberg Maverick 88. Number 1. Beretta 1301 Beretta has a long-standing relationship with Ernest Langdon, a national champion USPSA and IDPA shooter and gunsmith. While known for his utter wizardry with the 92 and PX4 series of pistols, he's now offering an upgrade package for the Beretta 1301, Beretta's combat shotgun. The 1301 is a gas-operated semi-auto 12-gauge with a 3-inch chamber. It's rugged and reliable, but Langdon adds some critical improvements over the base model. A Magpul shotgun stock replaces the standard synthetic stock. Magpul's Zhukov forend, typically for Yugo pattern AKs, is added and incorporates M-lock slots for attaching a light, sling, or other accessories, Nordic Components magazine extension. An enlarged safety button, shell release, and charging handle are also added for more straightforward operation. You can also add an air disc mount for a red dot and an air disc side saddle shell holder. The Langdon Elite 92 series of pistols is thought of as the perfection of the 92 series of guns. The LTT-1301 is arguably the same in the world of tactical shotguns. A better home defense shotgun may not be available at any price. We've just wrapped up our ultimate list of the best semi-auto shotguns out there. If this video guided you in any way, smash the thumbs up button, I truly appreciate it. Drop a comment below and let us know which of these superb semi-auto shotguns you'll be picking. Thank you for tuning in. If this video rocked your world and you don't want to miss any upcoming content, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for our next exciting video. Until then, catch you later.